You know what? I, th I thought that was a siren because your window was open at first. Oh, you thought was it like... was like they were actually coming for me? <laughs> they're, they're coming for the, the peaches. <laughs> I didn't Did do you... nothing, bro. Did you turn into peaches? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, two days ago. Yes. Well, no, I don't think so. I think I was just called drunky. Um, and, you know, it's just been crazy last few months. Uh, yeah. I miss the peaches even, dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, not a lot of people miss the peaches. <laughs> I do now. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, uh. At least it was the good old times, bro. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yeah, I guess we can start, homie. Um... Testing, testing, one, two, three, test, test, one, two, que onda way. We are the Bodega Cats. Fat cats. It's lit. And I don't know what the fuck we're doing or for how long, but for some reason, we better just get it started, bro. Jesus. Let's get it started. Hey. Let's let get it started bit. now. <laughs> uh, period. A, cool, period. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm done. I was like, hold on. Salud. Gracias. Oh, that shit was crazy. No, I was like, what's going on? I was like, period. Like, let's get this oh. on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes. Cool, period. Sorry. Yes. Uh, yeah, I I got the cold period too. Well, I'm like it it ended yesterday oh that's good mine it's one of those that it gives you the the we say in spanish the finta that it's over and then tomorrow i'll probably have a little bit more but at least it's like in the words of tori amos man i was thinking like you better hope i bleed real soon because i was like going crazy bro in my head and <laughs> with everything on the news and just uh in the world not just the news just everything around the world Things were a little crazy, and it's kind of like um, that whole getting back to normal, quote unquote. But it, what's first of all, what's normal? Second, there is no. If it was normal, there is no more. So I actually have a quote that someone said uh, last week, and I thought it was good. Let me see where it's at. Where that? It? it says. Um, in the rush of getting back to normal, think about which parts of normal are worth rushing to. I was like, hmm. Yeah, I've seen that. That it's interesting. It is because, um, again, there is no, there was really no, I guess if you think of normal how things used to be, that's not going to happen for a while, I don't think, because... I feel with the riots and the protests and everything, we might have forgotten, not forgotten, but not be as careful with the with the COVID. But it is still a big chance that we're going to get another wave, you know? Not a big chance, it's happening. And uh, the scary thing is that hopefully, you know, it's not as bad. But again, that means numbers, you know? Sometimes when you put that number you don't really like put people in those those people those numbers are people so i'm just like damn like my throat hurts real bad and i'm like i don't want to be part of the second wave i just oh, i shit. missed it the first one i don't want to do i don't want to be the second and it's uh i don't even know what it was what it's like um it's not necessarily a sore throat it's like my muscles uh, you know what i i would think that if you get um deep throat really hard <laughs> I think this is what it would feel like 
That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. Obviously, I've, it's never happened to me. But, I mean, I guess not obviously, but it's never happened to me, I should say. And I woke up with this pain, like, damn, like, maybe the ghost that lives with me, like, deep-throated me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I heard right here, bro, like, my throat feels like, like, it got expanded or something. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like oh, wow yeah. thanks for sharing <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> oh dude yeah again I, I don't know so I thought well maybe it's a sore throat so I, I try to take care of it as a sore throat I still feel it every time I swallow <laughs> you gotta relax your throat muscles if you're gonna do that so well, I didn't know. I think I was, <laughs> if the ghost did this to me, I was asleep. He must have, or I'm saying he. What if, <laughs> well, it'd have to be a he, right? If, oh, oh, what if it was a female ghost with a strap on? <laughs> and that shit's really like the silicone or plastic, whichever one she chose to get. Uh, <laughs> and they even sell PVC ones, you know? So maybe really? it was a little, yeah, like made of a uh, PVC material. Obviously, they're, you know, not fucking PVC. Not that I'm pretty sure a woman has tried that before. But, but maybe, Ouch. maybe the ghost did have a, a rough strap on that. It was just too rough, you know, and too hard. <laughs> I hate said. that. That's what she said. You hate that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, if it's like, too oh, rough. What happened? Too hard. I don't know about the too hard part. So I'm um, like, what do I prefer to have? Uh, how did you say when that ghost uh, ravaged you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Would I rather be ravished in my throat by a ghost or have COVID? Probably the ghost, you know? But, yeah. But it still hurt. Like, Let's go with the, the deep throat uh, <laughs> theory. I'd rather be deep throated than have the COVID at this point. Yes, <laughs> that's so sad and disgusting. Uh, <laughs> well, if it was a girl, then it would be even better, right? I, well, it, it would be okay. I wouldn't say not better. better. Because, oh man, I <sighs> turn off the. I know, huh? It's hot in here. I turn off the the air conditioner so we could hear better, or I wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be on the audio, but. God damn, it's either the fucking heat that's intense or maybe I did get a little hot by thinking of the lady ghost with the strap. <laughs> Ooh, I got a little hot too. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, Lordy. Lordy. I got the vipers. <laughs> the vipers? It's, it's so windy outside. It's so nasty, bro. I swear, it's like a common... Oh, the notion is like staring at me. It's so weird. What's wrong? I wonder because he hears my voice. Well, he always watch? hears it every Saturday. You're what? with us every Saturday. In our, he's our, just like, in an who's, who's that beautiful lady talking? That's true. You're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> As he jumps down. And I think he's like trying to figure out what he wants to do because he just woke up. But oh, okay. I'm like, just don't act a fool but anyway <laughs> my cat is in here too oh yeah yeah we got the we got the bodega cat oh my god now that no smelling something but with a little paw like half up just like just that's, a little bit that's what my cat does when he wants food oh really he'll stand by the, his little dish and put one foot down and one foot slightly up and then he'll oh, just so stares at me. Cute. He <laughs> stares at me and meows. Meow. Meow. And then if I don't hear him, where'd you Here's go? Kitten. Here's I, what we like to call a little kitten. No, he's a cat now. But he's a cat. Hey. Hi, Tenos. Tenos. Hey. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. There you go, Bob. He's like, well, put me down, lady. <laughs> Well, he's over here in my business. Nobody called in, so he's. Well, I he's... said to nose, maybe. Why do I feel like things are so quiet? 
we don't usually have music, do we? No. Huh. I feel like things are way too quiet right now. I was actually um, like watching. No. <clears throat> I was watching. Uh, do you know who Nicky Jam is? The reggaeton. Nicky, Nicky Jam, Nicky Jam, Nicky Jam, no? Well, he's a reggaeton artist. And, um, oh my God, he's just being such a pest right now. He couldn't open the window and he kept like slapping the, the curtain. So I had to open it for him. Just relax, baby. But anyway, it's on Netflix. You should watch it. It's really good. It's about his life. And, um, um, it's cool. It's like his story is, is crazy. And you know who Daddy Yankee is, right? Yeah. Oh, the one that sings gasolina? Maybe not. Yeah. A mí me gusta la gasolina. A mí oh. la gasolina. Remember that? I know the song, but... All right, I, well, I... he kind of not started. Daddy Yankee started before him, but he kind of was, like, around that time, and then they had an argument. Like, he was just, like, in in uh, on drugs and just, like, in the wrong, you know, path. And uh, so Daddy Yankee went one way and he went another. And then they started like a rivalry. And uh, I know that was beautiful, huh? <laughs> My I was like, I thought My you were going to clap. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> like <What>? Pelosi. <laughs> oh, Lordy. So anyway, it's a good show. It is, uh, you know, a lot of it is in Spanish because they're boricuas. But, um, but it's good. I like it. Some of it, I need subtitles because they... Sometimes I don't know what the hell they're saying. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's why they seem reggaeton. <laughs> yeah, well, you. just some English songs, like, in English, I I don't know what they're saying, so. That's true, especially the mumble rappers, which, funny like that, we, um, I was just listening to the Joe Budden podcast, and they were talking about how this is pretty much not the time for mumble mumble rappers because anything that has been said or ha- or is going to be said right now about the situation, we need to know. It's like Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole, you, they announce you, they, you, you know what they're rapping because it's important. It's not just a bunch of bullshit and, you know, talking about drugs and cars and pussy. Um, but uh, so I guess... Pussy? Sorry. Pussy. <laughs> Oh, look, and I have this, too. Oh, Tenoch got all, like, what the fuck? I'm just kidding, baby. Go back to sleep. Um, But anyway, uh, yeah, so the mumble rappers, this is not the time because we need to know. Be informed. What the hell are you doing? You always have noises. (laughs) I'm giving my cat a little treat. (laughs) I thought you were opening a, a the thing of batteries or something. <laughs> He's staring at me like, I need a treat. He's, He's going to start now. He's very demanding. He jumped on my... He put his front paws on my lap, on my leg. Uh-huh. Like, give me a snack. I need a snack. Doesn't he know we're recording right now? We're recording. <laughs> we He's need like, to have do- uh, those little on-air lights. So oh, Yeah. Knows. <laughs> when I worked at the radio station, they had those. Ah, cool. On air. On air. Well, uh, we need a studio first, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a mixer mm-hmm. and two turntables and a microphone. Yes. But, but yeah, I think I was just going to talk about, you know, Hold on. people. Should we go into the? Are we in it? Yeah, I mean, to win it, we're in it to win it in Black Lives (laughs) Matter, bro. You know? Yeah. Well, I was gonna talk about, you know, people keep saying all lives matter, and oh god, I hate that. People are still saying that. Like, okay, just you know, pick up any kind of social media, and there's all kinds of links to know. When you say that, it's offensive, you know. Because you're, you're, what's the word? You're, um, 
Not diminishing, but what's diminishing mean? Like making less of? Yeah, you're diminishing the whole purpose of the Black Lives Matter um, movement by saying, like, I hate the whole all lives matter, and I also hate white lives matter. Oh, but did you see, um, I forgot the name of the band, but it's a very, very popular um, Asian band. I think they're Japanese. It's a bunch of boys, like, well, they're, like, in their 19, 20, 21. Is it the... Is it K-pop? I don't know what they're called, to be honest. I, I sound like such an they're old They're like head. the Asian boy band. Yeah, but it's a ton of them. And uh, they were on Saturday Night Live one time. But I know they're super, super fucking popular. But did you see what they're doing with the hashtags? Whenever there's a hashtag like White Lives Matter, they start, they take over it. So that if you do look up that hashtag, it's them. And it's not the stupid assholes being clowns and I matter too. Shut your mouth, first of all. Well, there was this, uh, I think it was on TikTok. It was this white girl, and, and she was playing herself. She had, like, a dual dual um, video, mm-hmm. and she was saying, oh, uh, this house is on fire. I need to go, um, I need to go help them put it out. And the, the other girl's like, well, what about my house? <laughs> and she's like, is your house on fire? No. But my house matters, too. <laughs> so it, it, you have to see it. It's funny. No, I've seen it. I posted it as, oh, okay. as, uh, like as a comic. I saw it as a, as a form of a comic. Oh, okay. Hold on. Yeesh, ah. oh, maybe I am getting sick. But, um, yeah, I thought it was really funny. So it, it was two little dudes in the, in the comic. And, uh, yeah, how... It's like, well, I'm going to continue to water my house because my house might catch on fire, you know? So that whole thing, it was pretty cool. It was pretty um, um, on point. I saw another one, too, that was uh, <laughs> similar to that. But, uh, yeah, it was something similar. But uh, it's it's true, dude. It's like it's not the time for you to be whining about your own personal little issues. It's about just like there's bigger things happening that's not... It's not always about you, you know? And I mean that, like, you know what I mean? Like, for people, not you, per se. I know last podcast you felt very, I didn't do anything. I wasn't talking about you. I know. <laughs> I was really sensitive. Sorry. Oh, no. It's okay, homie. I get but it. No, it, it's just, it's like, you know, people have been talking. I think they started Black Lives Matter in 2013. I think when uh, Trayvon was oh. shot that's when they started it so it's it's been around um so and they're not saying that all lives all other lives don't matter i mean it's just that the injustice is happening to black people over and over again and i it's mean it's been for years oh like for hundreds and hundreds of years so you can't just now be like, oh, my little self, I'm sad because I'm this and that. It's like, shut your mouth. Like, this is like years and years and years that something needs to change and something needs to happen because it's obviously is never going to end. So it's not about that, you know? And, and um, my courses, my studies, we ha- I took a class and it was called social justice, diversity and social justice um and it really talks about just the systematic racism from way back when and then you know trevor noah he was he was uh grew up during apartheid in south africa and i mean and that they are they live they're there it's those white people that came and took control over them mm-hmm. which is the kicker like Oh, my God. Like, have you um, read his book, Born a Crime? No, I've seen his stand up. I've I've heard him speak a little bit about it. But no, I haven't read it. it it's really good because he talks about from when he was very little and poor and um, just, you know, about his, his grandma. Because how... even for him, his parents, they were illegal, right? Yeah. Because it was yeah. illegal for a black person to be with a white 
person? He was a married. Yeah. So that shit is like if you put that in like perspective of how like his existence was existence is illegal. That's crazy, and how how yeah we should be talking about them and not everyone else. Like and especially because Black Lives Matter is not saying Black Lives Matter everyone else should die. Everybody's taking it like that, or not everybody. Some people take it like that. Like like somebody just told you. You don't matter. Like, how selfish and entitled are you that I you know. even take a dad and it's about you? It's like rude. Well, I I was just looking up <clears throat> stuff on the internet, like statistics on on uh, like black crime versus white crime. But the thing is that black people are more. Um, likely to get like jail time than a white person yeah it, for true. the same offense and the offense is even harsher um, well this is the thing because there's always going to be cops in neighborhoods where there's more black and brown people because that's just the way it, it works so there could be a rich uh, white neighborhood and kids selling weed out there. There's not going to be a cop that's going to stop and ask them what they're doing or, you know, question them or harass them. Um, there's, it's very unlikely that if you're too, if there's white people in a car, they're going to get pulled over and, and harassed and mistreated by the cops. That is just very unlikely. So, it's the whole point of it's not about you because life has been different for you. You know, some people are privileged and it's about the systematic, you know, racism that exists and it has and it hasn't changed just because honestly with uh, Cheeto, uh, President Mancaren, I feel like people came out of the closet Mancaren. with their <laughs> with their hate and with their, you know, racism and, and prejudice and just hate in general. But I feel like those people now feel entitled to be out there with their nastiness and nasty behavior. But on top of that is like the ones that are, oh, I'm not racist. I have a black friend. Or I, oh, you know, like, oh, God, <laughs> shut, shut up and sit down. Oh, I, my. I, my, some of my friends are black. I'm like, yeah. that is just, <laughs> that is such a Karen saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah. But and I think it's about the whole I was having a conversation with a friend and I got drunk that night and it got a little deep <clears throat> later on because I didn't say what what I wanted to say and I should have, but I knew that it wasn't like the time for us to get into that conversation. Yeah. And we had other cheese to get to anyway, you know, so <laughs> it, it was um, later on, I felt like I should have said something. And uh, basically, it was a conversation about how this person was like, this is not our fight. And I'm like, mm, it's different to be like, oh, brown lives matter, too, rather than say it's not our fight. Because if it's not our fight, then we're saying you're on your own. And I don't agree with that. I think that it made me question it, it might not be supposed to be retweeting and doing all this stuff that, you know, that I'm posting and, and saying. But the more I looked into it, I saw there's all kinds of shit happening in Mexico, too. And I just felt like it is our fight because, again, with LGBT. Remember I told you I took a class that was um, called, um, and I was like, when I first started college, uh, it was called, fuck, damn it. It has it was two called names. Fuck? No. <laughs> yes, it was great. <laughs> I learned everything I know from there. <laughs> Fornicating under carnal knowledge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was something about it had two names. It one it was about um um shit, it was something about women and then the other one was about LGBT, but it was mainly Anyway, I'll think about it, and then if I remember, I'll plug in the... Queer studies. But uh, uh, I don't remember, but the class was really amazing. 
was it, it was like talking... civil civil rights or yeah but it, it one side it was shown like that on the on the courses catalog and on other side it was a very clearly an lgbt um mm. rights and information type so it was really funny because when the class started it was a variety of people uh and then when the teacher said you might have gotten this uh, class from the women's studies. I remember it was in the women's studies section and also in the on this LGBT. So just to let you guys know, we're two lesbians and the class is about blah, 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 blah. Some people at that moment walked out, mainly men. But uh, the next day, the next class, it was just women, um, some straight, some bisexual and gay men and gay women. So it was funny how people were like, nope, <laughs> some of them were not ready to take that class. But the class was really good. But my point was that I'll never forget when it came to the conversation of um, gay versus lesbian. Excuse me. Bless you, homie. They were talking about um, this, this kid, I guess, back then, you know, they were like, well, I don't know how the conversation started, but it was pretty much all about how sometimes we don't have each other's back. And sorry, so go for it, homie. So, sneezy. Um, so they asked the. I made the, it. What happened? I threw my tissue in the trash can. Oh, Kobe. Um, <laughs> but uh, so they asked the kid, like the this this young guy. So you're telling me the teacher said that if you see a lesbian being be- beaten up. Uh, and you're across the street that you're not going to cross the street to help her. And he goes, no, because I'll be using some of my resources and we're going to be using our resources on them. So, no. So I'll never forget that shit because I'm like, our damn. resources, like, damn, that's damn is right. Like, so he literally would watch a lesbian be beaten because he doesn't want to use his resources, quote unquote. And it's like, dude, we're and he was white, but still it's like. We're in this together, you know, so it was crazy because here in New Mexico is not like that. But I remember going to a club in Denver and I guess that they do separate gay clubs and lesbian clubs. And uh, I remember we, I walked in with two female friends and um, well, back then, one of them, I was dating one of them. And as we were leaving, we noticed it was just men. And as we were leaving, one of them says, you know, like, just dudes. And we're like, oh, weird. And as we were leaving, uh, one of the dudes was like, aren't you in the wrong place, sweetie? And we're like, damn. So it was very segregated how it was a gay club and not lesbians. It's like, what the fuck, dude? But I've seen that. And I've seen a lot of um, separation amongst people that I think should stick together. So that was my whole point of saying like that, that I feel like very much is our fight because we, if we don't stick together, then who's going to be there for, for you, for me, for us, when we, you know, like we as, as people have to stick together and fight together so that we, there's more of us, there's more voices and more presence. And still, I'm not about to take the whole, oh, and Brown too. But still, but I'm there. You know what I mean? I won't yeah. take that away from black people. I'm just saying I'm here too. And it is our fucking fight. But anyway, I messaged uh, my homie after and I was like, you know, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was just like, it took Sweetie. me a while. Yeah, it took me a while because I was like, mm, I don't know. I had to process it because I was like, should I sit down and shut up? I'm like, nah, I'm already not out on the protest. You know, I used to be out on the protest before, and I'm scared because of the cold. Um, I know. I feel really bad because I really wanted to go to the protest here, but they they weren't six feet apart. It they, was, had ma- they had masks on, but... And I've heard some know. people say that they're willing to take a chance for this, and I'm like, damn, you're better than me, homie, because... I'm scared, <laughs> but I feel yeah. like I'm, I'd be doing better, um, especially in our field, being alive, you know, because if I had nothing uh, that I think that I can contribute, then okay, then I'll show my, you know, my body can be there, but I feel like there's so much that we could do 
Uh, but it doesn't necessarily just mean be out there walking, you know, which I respect and I admire for, for them to be out doing that, especially in the cities where it hasn't stopped. And it's just, what is it like now? Eight days. That's yeah. fucking crazy, dude. But yeah, 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 I, yeah, this morning I, I woke up and my, uh, my nose is all, you know what? How, like, when you're getting a cold, you have that, like, weird feeling in your sinuses. Yeah. And I was like, and then I was like, oh, no. And my body was kind of achy. So I was like, ah. but I feel better now. I'm just sneezy. I think it's allergies, but still, I'm like. Ah. Yeah, I, I think know. for me, it could be that I left the air on. And with my little weak lungs from my asthma, I can't do that shit. You know, I have to, not at night, I have to keep it off. So maybe that's what it was. And because I wasn't careful because I was cold drunky, maybe that's what I'm thinking. And Or maybe I did get raped in the mouth. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That ghost, man, she owes me one. <laughs> Get my fucking strap on. <laughs> See how you like was, it. I hope she was good looking. Anyway. <laughs> well, what does it matter? It's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I want to have a the... good... no, go ahead. You don't want the ghost to be like ugly. Right? I'd rather the ghost be gentle. God damn, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> Just be gentle, bitch. My mouth was the virgin before this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's funny I have a well we'll save that for later to end with it I have a funny question I'll write it so I don't forget uh, um, so anyway another thing I wanted to say was the um, about the allies I guess there's a lot of uh, allies out there um, well you know when you're when there's like famous people or singers and stuff like that you're more noticeable but I'm, I'm glad that you see um, Machine Gun Kelly he said, like, for fans, because, you know, he's a white boy, and if he has fans that are Trump supporters or they think like him, to just stop listening to his music and stop watching his, his movies. Even fucking Ariana Grande was, like, all, uh, you know, speaking her little mind and whatever, which is cute. <laughs> like, I'm, you know. Her but... little mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's, like, this big, no? She's, like, a tiny little bitch. <laughs> she's, like, 5'2", I think. She's a tiny little bitch with a big old shallow pussy, bro. Because <laughs> oh. for her to take Big Sean, you know, that's why they call him Big Sean. <laughs> oh, Big Sean. Okay. She's fucking tiny. She's like, what, 5'1", five, 5'2"? Five, yeah, and that's why she has all that hair, because it, <laughs> it makes up, it makes her taller. <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, but did you see what uh, Seth Rogen, too? That, oh yeah, <laughs> and the guy. What? What is it? He's in a lot of cop movies. Um, what is his name? He's a white guy. No, oh, wow. <laughs> a white guy in in movies about cops. I got it. <laughs> Jim Carrey. Just kidding. <laughs> no. Oh, he was a detective, not a cop. Let me get some Kleenex while you think about it, because I have a pet. I do have Mokul. Mocos, you got mocos. Huh? Did you did you play the the theme song? Art? Yeah. No, I put that in the in the recording, bro. I don't put it. I don't oh. do it while we're on the call. I'll do it when I edit. Okay. Yeah. Did you figure it out? No. I was How about... about what age range? I would say mid forties. Damn it, I don't know. That, that didn't help. <laughs> he was in uh, Copland. Copland. He's he's really tall, like six two. Ben Ben Swan? No. I don't know. I don't remember. Well, another, while you think about it, another um, 
some you know how they put out that list of the trump supporting um oh yeah agencies and shit, organizations or like businesses or whatever somebody sent me a, a link and it showed all of my people who i have friends with and all of them supported trump so it was like here's a list that you should probably delete and all uh, there was friends like, yeah friends that support yeah. trump it was like 15 of my friends <gasps> i'm like how do they know that holy well probably because they post shit like i'm pretty sure you could tell from my postings that i'm a democrat yeah. if not more you know more of the other liberals and you know um, AODC all the way. I and mean, AOC. Those... AOC. <laughs> I, put the, I put the D there for her. Hey! Uh, I like the D. She got a big old D, big old balls. <laughs> <laughs> but there was like, like the people from Roswell. Mm. Well, small town, bro. But that I went to high school with. Yeah. Because it's, Roswell's pretty conservative. Yeah, and from what my homie tells me, I mean, small town is just difficult to see it different because, you know, especially if you're, I guess, if you're white, it's a small town and you just yeah. know what you know. You don't really, I don't know, it's dif more difficult for your mind to be open to other things. Yeah, but I, I grew up there and. I yeah, but you're amazing, though. You're different. Ah, uh, I guess so. This is yeah. True. I, I am You're pretty. The I'm the prize. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but you know, also I saw that Lyft donated five hundred, I think five hundred thousand dollars to um to the civil rights organizations, I guess. And there was a, a, others that you know were. I got emails, and I know, I mean, in a way, I feel like they're bragging. Like, why are they sending me that email? Just send it to them and tell them, here's some money. But I get it. I mean, that's cool. That's a, I guess they donated that in Lyft, in like Lyft rights, which is still cool because people have to get to their protests and things, you know? So, but that's pretty neat that other organizations are doing the opposite. Because did you see the post from Wendy's? No. So you know how they said that Wendy's owner was a Trump supporter and then some people were mad because I don't know if you noticed the, la the latest uh, Wendy's tweets, it sounds like a black person wrote them. So I don't know if they're pandering or what, but they're always like talk like, oh, keep the same energy and blah, blah, blah. So they, they posted something saying that it's not true that they're, they haven't supported. They, I guess they say they haven't supported any party and, uh, and that they they believe in the Black Lives Matter movement, and they kept the same energy. Like it sounded very panderish to me. Pandering, yeah. You know? Well, did you hear about Chick Fil A? Well, you know those motherfuckers have hated us for years. Well, they they were saying that if their employees post Black Lives Matter uh -huh. stuff, that they they can't say that they work for Chick Fil A. Like on their, on their, um, I guess, bio, or whatever. Well, I w well, first of all, who posts on their bio? By the way, I work for Chick Fil A, y'all. And I second, know. <laughs> why would you embarrass yourself that way? Hey, Black Lives Matter, and I work for Chick Fil A, you guys. You guys. <laughs> I know. That's so stupid. And <laughs> they, they support Blue Lives Matter. But not Black Lives Matter. Oh, God. That's another one. Nobody's saying... Even when they say fuck the police, they're not saying kill the police. So how does that even make any goddamn sense? I don't know. Yeah, they, they've they never listened to uh, New World Order. <laughs> <laughs> FTP. Oh, dude. And... Um, <laughs> What's his name? Um, Meta, Meta. Sorry. Fucking. We're gonna Gito. get banned. 
<laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> hey, but it's our responsibility because we do have a platform. It might not be the most popular or greatest now yet, but, you know, we have our little platform. We got our little 26 episodes. Like, we, we got something, you know? So... We, it's okay. We can do it and say it. And if it happens, then YouTube's pretty good. Uh, Spotify, they're pretty good with, you know, um, how do you say, uh, people being authentic and speaking their minds, I think. Um, I <laughs> think. <laughs> Watch me get banned. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. You've been talking about cheat of almost every fucking episode. I told you to keep it cool at the beginning. Now I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. But fuck dude, that speaking of that. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. He can kiss my booty hole. <laughs> What'd you say? He can kiss my booty hole. Hey. <laughs> but bro, how like pathetic when he like went to take the picture at the church oh my god and then he held the bible upside down and somebody cool. said i think it was trevor noah or somebody who tweeted that when you forgot your um your school project <laughs> you know and you're just like <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what to say you fucking idiot bro bible i even haven't i don't read so <laughs> With this stance, with this weird stance, with his hands just dangling, like, what the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh, my God. The, 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 the ALCU is suing him for, they because they put tear gas because they wanted the people to move so he could do that little charade thing. Did you see the image? It's pretty rough. There was just peaceful protesters and they just start shoving the fuck yeah. out of them, including some reporters. And they said it wasn't tear gas. It was pepper spray or something like. Either way, what the fuck? I know. Was? It's like, unless yeah. it was ecstasy gas. I no, not cool. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Is there such wet. thing? I don't know. Ecstasy gas. <laughs> But I was thinking of what kind of gas would I be okay with absorbing? <laughs> Probably ecstasy <laughs> gas or some weed smoke. I don't know. <laughs> you know? Weed gas. But, but weed, <laughs> I would take. I would think weed would take longer. And ecstasy, you'd be like, ooh, oh, let's all rub against each other, even with the COVID. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> let's get COVID nineteen for sure. <laughs> I don't That's care. Like, it's like the. What is that song? That song? Let's get. Have a cloud. No, when you said that, let's get COVID. It sounded very sexy. <laughs> let's get COVID. Mm. Hey, baby. You want to get COVID together? <laughs> Corona, me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want the Corona. Oh, dude, well, that should. Did you see that they, that he built a wall on the White House, and then somebody said on Twitter, "Did Mexico do that? <laughs> did we pay for that one too?" <laughs> I saw that. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. He Talk finally about got his wall. President Men Karen Pussy, aka Cheeto Coward, bro. Like, what the fuck? First, go back to your little bunker. Like, what the shit, man? What a little pussy. <laughs> Bitch-ass pussy. Oh, uh, dude. But anyway. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, you said you wanted to talk about you actually had to go vote because you never got your ballot, huh? Yeah. Um, I went on the website twice. And... I don't, I don't, unless it was like tucked in with some other, like, I get all this, like, um, you know, news ads and, or not, um, you know, the little paper the store? ads, store yeah. ads. So I, sometimes they, it gets caught in there. Maybe I didn't realize it was there because I just throw it 
in recycling right away. So <clears throat> I just pretty, went there. It was a pretty thick envelope. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. I went there and they said I just, just sign a waiver that um, I'm choosing to vote in person. Okay, that's good, homie. Good for you. Let me get you some Rasta horns. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened there. <laughs> I like that. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> Some Barry White. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Let's get COVID. Let's get COVID tonight. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what she said. I know I'm hot, too. <laughs> Ooh, my armpits. Yeah. Me, too. They're sweating. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, K pop built the wall <laughs> around the White House. Um, <laughs> voting. Well, I did, you know, remember I told you when I first went on that website and I would put my information, it said that I didn't exist. <laughs> so it took me like about five tries until I finally got it and I got the ballot and I mailed it, but. Um, yeah, I'm glad that we voted, bro. We have to. Everybody has to vote. Everybody has to register and make sure that we're ready in November, bro. We gotta, we gotta do what we gotta do. And it, it looks like um, the Democrats are strong, at least in this state. <laughs> Man, I gotta tell you, some of the stuff that Biden has, um, some of the commercials and the things that he's doing... It's pretty, it's pretty fucking good, bro. It's pretty strong. It's pretty like, all right, you have my, you have my attention now. So, yeah, for sure. I don't even care if you know. You ain't black. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on the ballot, I, I, I was like looking for him, and I was looking for Joe, but it said Joseph. Oh, weird. On mine, it said Joe. Really? Yeah. I hope you voted for the right one. <laughs> There's not another Joe, is there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Joseph Budden. <laughs> Joe Budden. <laughs> you voted for Joe Budden. Oh, lordy. Well, but, oh, that reminds me. Um, I was on. watching. Um, on, I think it was TikTok. I'm addicted to TikTok. You and TikTok, I know. You know, and a lot of people have been saying that people shadow ban them. What's that? What that it's mean? It's like it's like they uh, they don't release their videos on the feed or something oh. because they're controversial or because well, they like argue with people that say all life matters. <laughs> I heard that they deny that, that they said that because somebody I also saw that somebody said if you post the hashtag Black Lives Matter, they won't post your shit or something or that they'll they'll, they'll take it down. And then I heard that they, they deny that. But you know how I feel about that thing. I don't trust them. So it's just like my Chinese cameras. I don't know. China. China. Yeah. Ask well, China. It, don't ask me. Ask China. <laughs> well, on TikTok, there was this this black lady, and she she had the double screens, and this white guy, old man, was just standing on the corner holding Black Lives Matter and you know social justice for Black lives, and he was just he was like in his seventies. He was just standing on the corner holding the sign, Aww. and she was crying. I was like. That's really cool because I think people need to see that, especially older white dudes, you know, they need to represent. And because not all old white dudes are, <laughs> you know, racist. So I, I thought that was cool. I was looking this morning that there was only one old white woman uh, protesting on, I think, Palm Be Beach, I think somewhere in Florida where there's like money. And it was just her out there with her little mask and her little... <laughs> that shit was cool. Yeah, I, I think white people really need to step up. Because I, I think they're finally seeing that, you know, 
the government is, I think they're finally listening to just, well, in history, there's a lot of history that's left out just about like the, like systematic racism. And even when, you know, I mean, they were supposed to get 40 acres and a mule and they were supposed to be freed. And did you hear um, Shannon Sharp? Um, He's like a CBS um, uh, sports dude. He was talking about Drew Drew Brees. Oh, God. And what he said. A fucking idiot. I know. I was like, he was saying that dude fucked up because he is around black dudes in the locker. And and in the South, bro. He's in New Orleans. Yes. Um, And he was... I guess I didn't hear what he said exactly, but Shannon it was Sharp, that whole thing about how that he does not support it. And it came back to the whole Kaepernick thing and that he does not oh. support it because he thinks of his grandparents going to war. Nobody's kneeling for your goddamn ga- grandparents, buddy. Like, that's not what it's about. But that's what he was saying. Well, Shannon was saying, well, my grandfather's fought in the in both wars. Um, and when they came back. They didn't have the same freedom that your grandfathers did. Boom. They, yeah, because they, in fact, if they had, they couldn't wear their uniform. A black soldier couldn't wear the uniform or, or they'd get attacked. Like, for going to war for freedoms that they didn't get when they came back. And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, I didn't know that. About yeah, the oh, it was good. Um, Shannon Sharp and... He he's a well known like sports caster, um, like for NFL. But he it was it was so like so wrong of Drew Brees to even like he said it's not going to be the same when he goes in the locker room, and because all the players are they feel some type of way now and it's like he he backtracked real quick like he sent put a statement the next day and he's like now bro he had to he had to because of all the backlash but at the same time it's like no when you when he said it he was very like oh Oh, let me tell you blah 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 now okay well let me tell you buddy so now don't you know backtrack and not you know now do you said what you said but someone said like I wonder, because he says, when I look at the flag, I look at my grandparents, all right. And they're like, he is in the South, in New Orleans. I wonder how he feels when he looks at the Confederate flag. Does he get fuzzy wormies? Like, what, you know, it just makes you feel some type of way about that motherfucker. So even his apology and whatever, and it was a long-ass apology, too. I didn't read the whole thing. I, I heard most of it on The Breakfast Club, I believe. But it's like, nah, you said what you said. Now eat it and live with it. Yeah, it was just like, I'm like, dude. And then Kaepernick, I mean, he's banned from the NFL because he kneeled. Yeah. Based, like, how bad was kneeling? I mean, he, he wasn't stepping on the flag. He wasn't burning it. I mean, it's, ridic- it's ridiculous. It is. It totally is. And it sucks because it's. Yeah, like, <clears throat> he stopped playing and, and everything that happened after. It was just a bunch of bullshit. And then now, it's like, that's what he was saying. He was just, like, trying to make people aware. And they took it somewhere completely different that had nothing to do with what he was trying to say and do and and symbolize, you know? so That, that he was un-American shitty. and not a patriot or whatever. I'm like That's some bullshit. That's bullshit, but I'm glad that, you know, everybody came at uh, Drew Brees because that was a pretty, like, uh, ignorant and, um, what's the word, uh, irresponsible thing to do and say. Like, I know, like I said, most not a lot of people feel this way or even worse with their hatred. Keep it to yourself right now. Like, the best thing for you to do, especially if you have a big platform, if you're famous, you know. Keep it to yourself, because this is not a good look. Yeah, I know. Have you heard anything from Tommy Laren? Oh, God. No. About, because she used to say, 
all lives matter, not just black lives. And first doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, and she calls all the liberal snowflakes, I guess. <laughs> liberal snowflakes. Because <laughs> we're all different or what? Because, because we're one of a kind? <laughs> because we care about, you know, justices and, you know, little kids getting put in cages and... Oh, God. Like, that's right there. It's... Doesn't she? She's just white privileged bitch. That's what it is. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting to see some people just shut up. Def- defending Trump after... I mean, he basically said he grabs pussy and that he can take whatever he wants because he's famous. Yeah, dude, a, a week ago or I think it was a week ago, I heard a recording uh, with the whole Epstein situation. Like you saw what Anonymous put all that shit out. I think it was last Monday. And I heard a recording where he's just being really nasty about how he's talking about young, like young women. I think he was talking about Lindsay Lohan. And uh, about Ugh. her freckles on her boobs and shit. Ugh. Like, He's I can never creep. look at redheads the same now because now I'm going to be grossed out thinking of Trump. Ugh. It's fucking disgusting. Yuck. <sighs> well, Anyways. Speaking of disgusting, um, just kidding. I was... I was watching one of uh, our last podcast on YouTube as I was um, cleaning or doing something. And then it ended and another one played and it was um, help, you know, <laughs> help. <laughs> and I think that was, we were going to go to our friend's 10th anniversary party. Remember? Uh-huh. So, and I'm like, damn, we look good. I'm looking rough, bro. I don't know if this COVID. Uh, loneliness and cold paranoia and cold drunkenness, but goddamn, I was looking and I'm like, we look cute back then. <laughs> I I put some makeup on. So. No, you look cute, but I was just like, nah, I need to. I was thinking maybe next podcast I'll maybe I'll try a little harder. <laughs> Use a like, filter. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a Snapchat filter. <laughs> oh, which, by the way, Snapchat was one of those companies that apparently is a supporter of the Cheeto. Snapchat? That Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's getting rough out there. You know, I didn't hear anything about McDonald's. <laughs> I'm feeling like a Big Mac right about now. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Uh, oh, yeah. I got fireworks too much. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, did you hear people are, like, um, not going to celebrate the 4th of July? <gasps> no, I didn't hear that. People are saying that they're not going to, like, just participate at all. Because oh, wow. until there's justice. That makes sense. How are we going to celebrate a country that doesn't celebrate all of us? Or even appreciates? Or anything? Yeah. I, I I, I'm this. thinking about it. Well. I'll just, just have a of... hot dog, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said. I love, uh, I love weenies. That's what she said. <laughs> Well, usually we um, we do like fireworks for my nephew, but like little ones, you know, but we always, almost every weekend we get together and just, you know, eat together. And for that, we'd like to grill, but I don't, we don't really like make a big deal the way that most people do, which I like, you know, like the, the fireworks and all that nonsense, but I'd be okay with it except to... to How do you say, um, protested, I guess, because didn't even Cheeto said that this was going to be the best 4th of July or something because he had something planned, something like because of his campaign. And I'm like, dude, 
I hope that you do have an event and everybody gets the COVID. <laughs> 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 That's mean, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, but I, yeah. I've thought about, you know, maybe he'll just get that. But then I think about all his supporters. Would it be like, um, you know, you know, when they kill like those sci-fi movies where they kill the main person and then the rest of them die. <laughs> like, because oh. uh, <laughs> they're like the, the main chip. Yeah. Like if you take the main chip out, then the rest of them will. Hopefully like, disintegrate. <laughs> Peter out. <laughs> Peter. Oh. I said Peter. <laughs> That's what she said. Dang, I need some dick. Dang. About... <laughs> That's what she said. No, I keep, keep talking about the <laughs> hot dogs, Peters. Um, deep throating. Deep throat. <laughs> I need some batteries now. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, yeah, I, I got some batteries. That's why you need the ones that don't need the batteries, because that way it's just, you know. Oh, there's regular. ones, ones a regular. Bat- well, just a regular, just a regular, 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 just a regular, just a regular, regular little dildo, <laughs> or big if that's what you want. <laughs> or big. I'm not telling you to get the small kind. I'm saying get yourself your regular, regular, regular little dildo that don't need no batteries, and then boom. I like a little clitoris action though. <laughs> Well, do it yourself, bitch. <laughs> I get, I got wrist problems. Oh. <laughs> Your carpal tunnels won't let you masturbate properly. You're about it's to get there. Oh, shit. It's, it's been a long two months. Come on now. <laughs> I told you to sit on your hand, make it feel different. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh my lordy. Damn it. Um, I can say something I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Remember when I smelled like Ben Gay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I didn't say anything because I didn't want to make you feel bad. And then you're like, does it smell like Ben Gay? I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes, it does. And then remember we party that night. Uh, we had a we had some drinks after the pod and you you party your Ben Gay patch off. <laughs> I oh, found yeah. it the next day. <laughs> You're like, what, like what is that? <laughs> like a little. <laughs> well, one time it, it, I didn't, I forgot to take one off and it was in the shower. It, and they get all soggy and they like soak up. So it puffs up when oh. it's wet. That's so what she like, said. Ah! That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> Just keep that on. A little sensitive. <laughs> Too sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. So what happened? You had to like get the water out before you threw it away or what? No. You the water out? <laughs> no. I just threw it away. Oh. I didn't oh, want to touch it. Full of water? I mean, they're not that big. Are like... well, you saying that it absorbed all the water? Maybe I squeezed it. I don't, I don't really remember. Oh. <laughs> it just, it felt gross. Oh, yeah. Like well, a, that's what I'm saying. When I picked it up, I was like, what is that? And I'm like, why is it like gooey? So I picked it up and it was like a wet linguine. <laughs> <laughs> linguine. <laughs> ah. Oh, well. man. Yeah. Well, that's all I had, bro. <laughs> Oh, I know. I had a quick question. Um, probably, maybe not quick, but you said something earlier that reminded me. Do you consider that if, let's say, per se, and this was obviously back in the day for both of us, if we hadn't had any vaginal sex, but everything else, would you still consider yourself a virgin? What's happened? 
technically. Well, see, I said that too, but I guess I was having a conversation with someone that were like, no, you're a hoe. Like, you're not a virgin. <laughs> like, let's say you're having all kinds of ass sex. Oh. Will you still consider yourself a virgin? But then I went to like, okay, well, what about the hymen? But then that shit can be broken. Pretty sure I broke mine when I fell from a light post into the little area and my coochie just felt like it was like really but hard. No, the, the hymen's really far up there. But they said that anything could break it really like even horse riding, uh, oh. bike riding, like, you know, things like that. So it's not, it's not that far fetched that you're not a, like that you can't break that shit with anything other than a dick going in you is what I'm saying. So, because then I thought, well, if that was the case that my belief of like, no, you're still a virgin. Then if you get fingered, you're not a virgin. You're still a virgin too. That doesn't make no sense. Cause if I finger, fuck you, I fucked you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think, I don't know, when I was growing up, just even having sexual thoughts was, like, a sin, like. Because <laughs> you were a Jehovah? <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I'm surprised that I got over that. Like, I, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm a Jehovah Witness recover, in recovery, Jehovah <laughs> Witness recovering addict. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. We can do anything. But it's one thing, because it's kind of like when women say that if their partners watch porn, that's cheating. I don't think that's cheating. Yeah, I, I don't either. But, like, it was a sin to even, like, look at, like, magazines with naked but you were people. still a, but you were still a virgin even if yeah, you looked at yeah. magazines but if you had got ass fucked or will you still be like oh but i'm a virgin because when i put those in, like you know when this person put that in perspective i'm like that's true i wouldn't consider someone who gets fucked in the ass a virgin or like let's say you have all kinds of dick in your throat <laughs> How, can, how dare you can be like, oh, no, I'm a virgin. <laughs> like, you was a slut, bro. You was a slut. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, like, I know in the Jewish faith, like, they, like, they check your sheets that, and make sure your hymen was ruptured. That means, like, and there'd be blood on the sheets. Oh, and shit, like a the... uh, T.I. type of shit? <laughs> no, no. Oh. I have you ever seen Yentl? It sounds familiar, but I'm With Barbie thinking... Streisand. She... Oh, I don't think I've seen it. I think I've just seen the cover. Well, I think, and I don't know that much about like in the olden days, like like aesthetic, um, not aesthetic. What do you call? It? Hasidic, Hasidic Jews, like Orthodox Jews, like when you get married, you have to, you have to be a virgin or otherwise like, it's like, like you have to have your hymen, like you have to have blood on the sheets. Huh. Well, okay. It's kind of like Ace Ventura. (laughs) 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 He slept with that girl and. Then they finally got married after he saved the bat with the Wano. <laughs> but uh, but no, I, I think if it's like fornicating under carnal carnal knowledge, I mean, even if you your vaginal walls are pristine, but you've done other stuff. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, nothing has entered that. <laughs> uh, I like that. Your vaginal warmth up for tea. 
<laughs> have to write that. <laughs> That's like moisturizing your spirituality, bro. <laughs> Oh, well, that's you sure moisturize your vagina. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> you better. <laughs> Otherwise, it's painful. Oh. <laughs> yes, and uh, sad. Sad. <laughs> sad, but true. <laughs> uh, bro, we're just two cacti. Empath cacti <laughs> living in an empath world. <laughs> it's true. Oh, That's dude. our motto. We're keeping to it. This is true. Go ahead. All right, bro. I just had that question. I wasn't sure how you felt about it because I'm like, it's an interesting, interesting. We can sleep on it. <laughs> sleep on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had another question. Ask me. Hold on. It's If you had a choice and you had to leave Earth, would you go to space or underwater? But I could breathe either either or? Yeah, you'd be like in a submarine or whatever. Oh, well, that's different. If I'm in a submarine... Okay. Like a... So... Like a... Yeah. So either a spaceship or a submarine? Yeah. Well, obviously you couldn't live underwater unless you had gills. Well, that's what I thought you meant, that either I had wings or gills. Oh. I guess well, we'll be you have... basic. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody posted that on social media, and I was like, I was thinking about it. I'm kind of terrified of the ocean. I don't feel we belong there. And not that we belong in space, but I don't know. The ocean just seems like a scary fucking place when when they really, like, get even... there. There's even spaces where we've never even seen because the pressure and everything. And again, I'm not saying there isn't in space, but at least in space, I don't know. I feel it's more welcoming <laughs> <laughs> because there might be, like, I don't know. I don't know out there, but I definitely Aliens? choose. Yeah, but I definitely choose space. Well, I I think I would go underwater because I'm like a dolphin, <laughs> mm -hmm. and um, I could grow to like I could form gills like water water world. Yeah, well. You know, that when I thought of that, you were asking me if it's wings or, or um, I thought I would be scared because I'm not big enough. And there's so many creatures down there that they'll eat me. Like they'll big... eat me. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm mocking you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just cute. They'll eat me. <laughs> they'll eat me. Punch Larissi. <laughs> um, Hey, well, I haven't mocked you in a long time. I know, you haven't. Oh, I can tell you're feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I, I just thought it was cute. Well, have you seen that new creature? They found the the uh, remains that is like a whale, but it's a dinosaur. Have you seen it? If I find it, I'll post the picture. But the tail alone, bro, is like the size of a whale. The what? tail. Yeah. Jeez. I don't know where they found it, but they found, I guess, um, the mouth, bro. It's huge. So, see, stuff like that, we don't know if it still exists, some of this shit out there or down there. I'm scared, bro. No, I'd rather be in the... But, I, hey, you have bigger balls than me, bro. <laughs> I just want to be out in the space and see what's up there. That's true. We would be miles and miles and miles apart, bro. Maybe I'll... Every now and then I get a... Turn around. <laughs> Brothers! Hey! Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go turn my air. Huh? I'm going to turn my air on. Uh, yeah, bro. We're at uh, past the hour. 
past our bedtime. And uh, <laughs> gotta go to bed. We gotta go to bed and get our beauty sleep. Uh, so we're not so co, you know, crazy looking. Uh, well, me, I'm talking about me. And uh, that's okay. Yeah, you can say I'm so crazy. We are a little crazy. That's okay. You know, you, who wants to be basic and normal? No basic bitches here. Nah. That's that's all right, but here's some fireworks for you. And uh, yeah, this has been another episode of the Bodega Cat. I am Fifty Foot Peaches. Larizi here. Everybody that knows me knows I'm always late, and everybody that knows me and loves me knows I will always be late, and hopefully, they still love me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. I love you too, broski. And broski. Uh, yeah, bro. It is what it is, and we will continue to be. <laughs> <laughs> Isle kittens. Uh, tell your friends. You guys, tell your friends. You guys, <laughs> tell Someday them we'll, the best. <laughs> we'll go in public. There's been a couple of people that have, you know, give us the thumbs up. Just give us a thumbs up. If you're listening, I love the Isle Kittens. (laughs) I love the kittens as well. And we'll see what the next week brings us, bro. Black Lives Matter. Period. Black Lives do matter. Cute.